welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to do a video to talk about my curly hair journey. I know a lot of girls go through like that phase with their curls and they're just like so frustrated and don't know what to do to get that full curl potential. So I thought maybe sharing kind of my experience and what I went through could possibly help some of y'all. Um, all right, so let's see. When I was younger, I had like super curly hair, like curlier than it is right now, like borderline nappy hair, okay? So it was really hard to maintain. My mom would try her best, I swear. She just didn't know how to take care of it. And she'd always like slick it back and put it in like a cute little braid and put lots and lots of grease in it so no hair stood out. And I remember going to school in like second grade and I like got up out of the chair one day and there was grease on the back of my chair and I was kind of a little bit embarrassed like oh my gosh oh my gosh is that from my hair and it was so you know that happened and I'm pretty sure I told my mom about it and she was probably mortified and from there we kind of made a little bit of progress with the hair routine right all right so when I was about nine she took me to get a relaxer put in my hair because one, I just wanted to have straight hair. I saw all these girls with beautiful straight hair and I was like, wow, that looks like it's incredibly easy to maintain. You can do lots of things with straight hair. Like you can do cute little fish tails and you can put them in cute little buns and you know, whatever, everything that you can do with curly hair too. But I just didn't think about that when I was that little. So I was like, mom, I need straight hair. My mom was all for it because that makes it easier to maintain, easier to brush through and all of that. So. Got my relaxer and then I, you know, liked the results. So I continued to put relaxers in my hair until I was in like sixth or seventh grade. And my hair at that point was almost completely straight. Like I really would just need to take a straightener and brush it through a few times. And then my hair was perfectly straight. So that shows how much damage I had to my curls. And, you know, I kind of got sick of the straight hair, you know, to be honest. And I was like, I kind of miss my curls. I miss being able to do fun things like just get out of the shower and have naturally curly hair. You know, people are amazed by that, by the way. Um, they're like, what did you do to get your curls to look like that? And I'm just like, I got them wet, man. <laughs> like, I was just born like this. But anyway, side note. Um, but yeah, so after like seventh grade, I stopped doing relaxers and I did like a small chop, I guess, probably like a little, um, let's see, it was like a bob or something. I don't think it was eighth grade. It was probably like my freshman year and I cut it into like a little bob. And if I can find a picture, I will show you, but I don't know that I have any. Um, but yeah, so I did that kind of chop and then my hair came back semi curly. It was still pretty like damaged. It was more of that like loose curls, not really like the tight curls that I have now. And yeah, so all through high school, I would like dye my hair. I bleached it at one point, you know, that lighter color hair was super in and I just wanted to have like light hair and whatever. So I continued to bleach it and I used to straighten it all the time, like all the time. So when I didn't feel like having it curly, I just straighten it for a few days, do some fun things with it and then go back curly. And that, yeah, that really damaged it. Um, plus all of the coloring damaged it and then I think it was my senior year like right before I went to college I was just like I need I need to change. I need to do something drastic Dr Drastic drastic <laughs> Drastic Yeah, okay, we'll move past that. Um, but yeah, so After my senior year, I actually went to my hairstylist and was like listen, can you just like chop it all off? And she's like what? Like, yes, just chop it off and hurry up before I change my mind. So she pulls it back in a ponytail and chops off all my hair like it's nothing. And oh my gosh, that was like the biggest change that I've ever made with my hair. First off, I kind of have a round face, so not really like strong bone structures. And I low key looked like a little boy when I chopped my hair off at first. Got to put a little bit more makeup. But let me tell you, it did wonders for my curls. It was totally worth it. Now looking back, I'm so happy that I did that big chop. And I stopped, I like straightened my hair probably like twice a month after I had the big chop. And then as it started to grow out a little bit more, I literally chopped it to like an inch, by the way, like this high off my head. And then after it started to kind of grow out more, I stopped straightening it as much and then just kind of, you know, let it grow and I was like, I don't really wanna get back to where I was so I'm gonna use less heat. 
and I didn't really use blow dryers or anything so yeah I just used less heat and I kind of started investing in more curly haired um, <sighs> products so before I would use like a bunch of mousse and stuff that makes your hair super crunchy and to kind of prevent the frizz and I didn't really focus on like what they put inside of those products or anything and I really didn't buy products that were focused for curly hair so yeah it was just it was a hot mess but now after like a few years it's been like two years well it's been a long time it's been like four years since I did the big chop so I've come a long way but um it took like two years to get it back to where like the length that it was when I chopped it and now it's like obviously as you can see my curls are way tighter they look healthier um, I don't dye my hair as much sometimes I'll dye my hair like back to like jet black and then when my natural hair color is kind of like a black brown so like occasionally I'll dye it to black but not very often I hardly ever straighten my hair probably like once every two months and I've just kind of learned to embrace my curls before you know I wanted straight hair I wanted to be to have hair that just wasn't me and now I've embraced my hair I love my curls I used to like put it up in a ponytail all the time and just like not let them loose and now I just like you know I experiment with it I do fun things and different hairstyles and leave it down and just like really embrace the curls so I guess my tip is just like embrace your curls don't straighten your hair as often limit the heat because that's really damaging like you don't see it now when you're doing it but once you stop using heat you can really see the difference in your hair and then also one other tip that I would say for sure you need to do is use leave-in conditioner I did not use leave-in conditioner ever until like honestly I didn't start using leave-in conditioner until like a couple years ago and it is a life saver because I didn't even know leave-in conditioner was a thing honestly so it's kind of embarrassing but you know it's really helped my curls it's helped keep the moisture in and it's just really great for styling like I'll use it right after I get out of the shower so when my hair is still kind of damp I'll put some leave-in conditioner in and kind of detangle it it really helps with detangling and then after that I'll style my hair however I want to do it and just kind of let it go and this is usually the outcome but yeah, leave-in conditioner is so important. Finding a good leave-in conditioner. I usually use like Shea Moisture or Cantoon. Um, really, I don't have a suggestion for any curly hair products or leave-in conditioner. I just kind of change and like use different products as I go and kind of test everything out. I haven't really found that product that I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this stuff. But you know, leave-in conditioner is huge. So I guess on your hair journey, if you can do a big chop, I would definitely do the big chop. It's going to be hard and it's going to be different, but it's so worth it in the end if you want to get your natural curls back and it's just completely worth it. If you don't want to do the big chop, you could go for like a smaller chop just to get those extra damaged ends that you have off and start from there. Um, use less heat for sure. Don't straighten your hair as much. Even limit blow drying. When I do blow dry, I use cold air and still takes forever to dry it with the cold air but you know it's better than heat and then that's and then use leave-in conditioner leave-in conditioner is so important I cannot stress that enough make sure you're conditioning your hair and then after that really it just takes time you just have to be patient and just really embrace your curls um so yeah that's kind of my little curly hair journey and the tips that I have for you. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any more questions about my curly hair journey, just go ahead and comment below and I will get back to you. But thank you for watching my video. Bye.